Now you get for ten, call me now. Oh, now which color? Now black or red color. Tell me, may I bring? I'm sure you wear an eye. Mm. Back or Back Back or the one way, I know you. I will bring that. This one for your papa. That's for this one. Zero. 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 morning and I'm on my way to do yeah guys um, I was so exhausted yesterday I was so so exhausted <sighs> but it was a good time I was exhausted it was a good time and um, yeah I'm on my way I'm on my way now to do I'm going to who is at the gate I'm going to um, talk more with you guys when I get to do Today's Monday, so I've been back. I came back yesterday um, from my last video that you saw from the last clip you saw. 
I came back yesterday and I was not feeling fine. I my whole body was hurting. I feel like it's fatigue. So this is Friday and Monday in the evening. I've just been resting. I've just been on my bed sleeping. Um, I don't want to stress myself. Yeah, I've just been sleeping and resting basically. And um, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I've not vlogged there. I've not done anything. I'm just like, I need to rest. I don't want to break down. Like this December has to be hot. Like, so I just have to rest in preparation for the weekend. So yeah, guys. Um, I'm here with Monique. My bed, my room is such a mess. I'm going to pack it soon, but for now I'm just resting. I'll probably do it tomorrow or something. So yeah guys i just thought i should come and <laughs> give me 500 now yeah, give me. So I'm not giving you four thousand. Hello. Where be? Yes, I'm going to move my iPhone. Which move money? Well, please now. I don't get transfer. We go back for us. Seriously. I don't. I don't want five thousand on there. You see, you can have five thousand. You get a new gear. Can you get that noise? Anyway, if you're getting any noise, I don't know. It's like. They are working on something around the house so it's making a noise but i just have to end this vlog so guys oh my god i had so much fun in limbe and boya oh it was so relaxing just what i needed so yeah guys i want to end this video by explaining some things to you okay so yeah guys i'm sure from the vlog Two vlogs ahead i said i was going for a traditional wedding first of all um my cousin told me that her knock door and you know that in cameroon people, people always confuse knock door traditional wedding like we don't we don't sometimes some people will say knock door when they mean traditional wedding and some people say traditional wedding when they mean knock door so when she told me that she's um preparing for her she, we should come for her knock door inside my head i knew that it was a traditional wedding but maybe they just wanted like they just wanted it a small like small family something without a lot of people so maybe that's why she was calling it knock door but guys it was actually a knock door and what is knock door knock door is like introduction when um some a guy wants to marry you he comes now with his family to come and meet your own family to take the lead so that was what it was and guys it was so much fun see ah guys I, I was exhausted i like from friday traveling alone with the kids saturday i was exhausted i didn't really enjoy that evening like i wanted so i was even happy that i was a knock door because since it's a knock door <laughs> i have to I have time to prepare well for the wedding so i'll enjoy the wedding the traditional wedding and every other thing very well so um guys um i'm sure you're wondering like why did kena name this vlog inspirational traditional blah 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 okay I named this vlog inspirational because you see this my sister that is that they are proposing to her in this video her story is one to inspire people I don't want to go too deep into her story because that's her story to tell I was talking with her some time ago and she told me that she would like to like with time she would like to start her own YouTube channel where she can talk about her story so yeah I'm not going to go into her story like that because it's not my story to tell like I said it's her story so um i don't know if you have been on this channel since you know that i'm always telling you that i used to stay with my cousin and her husband when i just came to Douala. it was this cousin of mine like she's my sister she's my sister her mom's a sister so she's my sister yeah she's my sister in this Douala. so she's the one i lived with her for two years before getting my own place getting a job and all that i'm moving to my own place and all that but even when i was planning for my marriage i left my house i i'm packed out of my house and came back to her house so she's like my small mommy <laughs> can you guys understand yeah she's like my small mommy so yeah when i came to Douala, she was married and she has three beautiful girls so i used to stay with her and it was not easy okay that's just what i can say it was not easy i have i can understand very well what she went through even though yes i was not in her marriage with her but i can understand a little bit of what she went through so seeing her on that day like the happiness the tears it just it just inspired me to come and share this thing with you guys because i feel like 
there are a lot of people out there who feel that oh there are a lot of people out there who stay in marriages because they're like oh my god if i leave now this marriage um there's no hope for me what would i do some women are like oh i have three children i have four children i have five children how am i going to go through with this how am i going to um basically manage this but this her story is just to inspire you that don't stay in a place where you're unhappy don't stay in a place where you might die don't stay in a place where you are not living life the way you're supposed to live because of maybe 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 i was so proud of her when she decided to like you know what this thing is not working i'm going to live here and i'm going to start afresh she started afresh guys she was not young she was like my age made now like she was like 34 when she decided like you know what this thing is not working Manu will come die she left it and a few years later she has found the love of her life she has a good job she you understand so sometimes and i'm not talking only about in marriages you could be in that job and you're like oh my god i cannot leave this job because um how am i supposed to go about it maybe if i leave this job i'll not see a new job maybe it's a marriage maybe it's a friendship maybe it's a deal it could be anything don't let fear control you don't let fear make you feel like oh i cannot leave this thing because if i leave it maybe there's no hope ahead because sometimes you just have to decide to make the big move and when you make that big move it's going to it's going to turn out well like don't stay unhappy because you're scared oh my god maybe if i leave this marriage i'm not going to see anybody who wants to love me with three kids or four kids or ten kids who wants to love me when i am like this who wants to marry me when i am old and things like that see even if you're not getting another person to marry you or or or, or whatever you're going to find happiness like just find happiness what matters is that you're happy and if you try and it doesn't work it's okay for you to let it go because a lot of us are living very unhappy lives because inside our heads we are like i cannot do this because if i leave i'm not going to be happy some of us are staying there because we're like oh what will people say what will people think well how will people react to this information i cannot take it i cannot do it so you get guys this this story is just an inspiration it's just to tell you that there's nothing like oh it's too late or oh, i'm too old or oh, i have children or oh, i've already been here let me just continue what is the difference what is out there for me you don't know the number of opportunities you might just be losing by staying in that same position sometimes you have to take the big risk it is not easy i know it is not easy but sometimes you just have to take the big risk take a big risk to, to be able to get what you want so i'm just so happy because i know that some people were just like oh, why is this one crying she was really crying and when i saw her crying i just understood i could i could I, let me not say i can i could put myself in a position because i obviously cannot feel what she has felt but i I could understand where she's coming from you know when when you have been in that position where you feel like oh my god it's over it's over people are talking about you you're crying yourself to sleep and you have gone through a lot of stress and then you just you just see the way things turn around that is it so guys this is just to inspire you if i just feel like maybe there might be somebody who has to hear this if you are in that situation where you're feeling like you're stuck there's no hope you can't change things because maybe um that is the only option you have and all that it is not the only option you have you will be amazed at how things might turn out sometimes certain things in our lives are just blocking us you get and i always say this too sometimes eh, some two people don't even have like how they put it how can i put it sometimes some two people you do not even have any business being together sometimes you and your partner could just be, be be better off as friends like you you are not just suitable for each other so stop sometimes we have to learn how to stop forcing some of these things if it's not going it's not going stop wasting your years there sitting and hoping that oh things will change things will get better and all that if it's not working if you have tried everything and i'm not saying that you should just get up and one two one try i just like, ah, i cannot do it i beg there's future ahead you just jump out we have to try to make it work if you have done everything and tried and you see that it's not working my dear person just let it go don't lose so many years of your life because you're scared of what people think you're scared of of what tomorrow might be you're scared you're scared because you're losing more you're losing your life so 
yeah guys that's just what i have to say i don't know this is something that is really like you guys cannot understand you guys cannot understand but this is something that ah, it's really painful it's really painful so i ah, it's something i don't know how to explain but yeah guys that's just what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know what you think in the comment section thank you very much for watching and i'm going to see you on my next one love you bye